Now, Donald Trump is streets ahead of Nikki Haley in the polls. His one remaining opponent in the Republican presidential race goes against him tonight in New Hampshire's primaries. Well, joining me to discuss all of this at once again is Greg Swenson, chairman of Republicans Overseas at UK, who's with us in the studio, alongside Tom Slater from Spiked Online. Uh, good morning to you once again. To Look, you, you've been very clear. Ron DeSantis was your guy. He was, yeah. a, he's, as a Republican, he's the guy you would have backed. And I think you and I both would have thought a year ago, yeah, I mean, yeah. why wouldn't you have him as your Republican candidate rather than Donald Trump, Donald Trump without the baggage. Uh, but um, no, he uh, dropped out uh, quite a, uh, I think a shock for quite a lot of people. But was it a shock to you? Uh, it, was, it wasn't a shock that he dropped out because that's the way it's been trending lately. And then of course the Iowa caucus was not good news for Governor DeSantis. So I uh, wasn't surprised that he dropped. I'm surprised he did it this soon. I thought he might have hung on at least through New Hampshire, maybe even South but Carolina. The expectation in New Hampshire, again, it's a different voting system in New Hampshire tonight. Um, and we've got another, I think, another month till the next uh, set right. of caucuses and right. primaries. But the, the, the expectation was that Nikki Haley would come second and he'd come right. third, and that would damage his chances even more. Yeah. What's going to happen tonight? Because we're not going to get, I don't think it even starts until about sort of the late, late this, this evening, yeah, our time. 1 a.m., I think, UK time, we, tomorrow we're going to get an That's idea right. of who's won. But, the polls are clear, aren't they? It, they it's really Trump. are. And it's not only that the polls are favoring Trump, it's that they're getting more favorable every day. So, the, you know, five days ago, it was Trump by 13, 14. And the most recent polls... The and these are polls of Republican voters of, or, or, of or both? Or both. Repu anybody voting in the election, yeah. um, in the Republican nomination process. So that includes independents. And 50% of New Hampshire voters are independent. That's why it's well-suited for Nikki Haley. But, she's seen as the moderate. Yeah, so she's leading with independence 49 to 41. Great, she's got eight points with independence, but she's getting crushed with conservatives. She's right. down by 50 points with conservatives, 56 but, points. But realistically, Donald Trump, is he likely to win with the sort of lead that he I, had in Iowa where not, he was 30 points ahead quite, of Trump? Not quite, not quite. But if he gets to 30, then this thing is completely over. So not. But I think he'll be in the 20s because that's the way it's trending. Recent poll came out of 27. One at 22. So we're not even seeing teens right now for Nikki Haley. So and, and, maybe and, if she gets, you know, if she and, only and, 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 and this won't be seen as a backtrack for him at all, uh, of falling back again. No. This would be, this it, is the sort of it, seat, sort of, sort of, um, uh, of, of a state that she would do well in. And, and yet he, she still won't have a chance of winning. And then in South Carolina, which is her home state, he's polling 30 points up. So that's really, I don't see her even staying through South Carolina. If she loses the way I think she's going to lose tonight, she, I think it would be embarrassing to I mean, Ron DeSantis, when he stood down, he basically said, look, you know, the Republican voters have made it clear. They, yeah. they want to give Donald Trump another go. That's right. Um, she, though, in an interview within a few hours of that, whilst campaigning in uh, New Hampshire, uh, said, you know, I, I, Biden yeah. and Trump, you know, they're both as bad as each other. Now, Ron DeSantis, Said he would endorse. He promised, you know, the the first, uh, sure. uh, you know, big big uh, debates on television that he would. He, I think, all the nominees said, didn't they, that they would back the the chosen uh, right. candidate. They all signed that. Uh, she was saying Except Trump. Trump yeah, Trump yeah. and Biden are as bad well, as each she's other. She's got a point. I mean, that's you have two <laughs> really bad candidates. You know, Trump is having a really great week, but he's only polling at forty overall. And but is he not beating Biden in polls in the key swing states, and is. even in some states that he lost? That's Even right. in 2016, let alone in 2020. That's right. Five of the six swing states right now have Trump up five points or more. Wisconsin's a little closer. He's only up a point or two. So he can win. I'm not arguing with that. But we have two flawed candidates that poll at 40 and lower in the case of Biden. He's polling at 31 on the economy, 33 on foreign policy. And my favorite's the border. He's polling at 18 which is a really big issue for American voters right yeah, now. It's, it's, they, they and for one Republican voters, one yeah. of the yeah, number of issues. Um, Tom Slater, I doubt very much you'd be a Republican voter were you living in the States, but um, who would you vote for out of these two, mm -hmm. Nikki Haley and Donald Trump? Well, what a choice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and and choice. let's throw in Joe Biden as well. What a choice Americans will be presented with at the uh, next election as well. I mean, Trump is um, not someone that um, I have a lot of time for, shall we say. But he's clearly responding to the big issues of our age. He's clearly someone who gets that there is this desire for a more democratic politics that will take ordinary voters' concerns seriously. So, of course, that's going to make him the crushing victor over someone yeah. like 
Nikki Haley, who kind of reminds me of how over in the UK, you know, every so often the Tory party will spit out some sort of yeah. um, li squishy liberal Tory who is beloved by the commentariat, yeah. but um, the voters don't even know who they She's are. She's the Rory Stewart, yeah. I <laughs> without, think. You without know, the charisma. Yeah. But well, it's I'm the, having you know, oh, very <laughs> Rory Stewart was in charge. Like, are you yeah. insane? And you know? I thought it was really interesting in Iowa as well, where Trump was um, dominated every single demographic apart from those with advanced degrees, which went yeah. to Nikki Haley. Yeah. I think that tells you everything about who she's actually appealing to. Yeah, that, that, that's yeah. the key thing. Is there, is there a possibility, though, Greg, that, that this whole Republican primary season could be over and done with tomorrow if Donald Trump does score in the 30s? That, at that point, like, this is as good as it gets for Nikki Haley. Yeah. You may as well walk away. If he's over 20, there's, there's no chance. I mean, the only miracle for her would be if turnout was so large with all these independents that that benefited her. But again, she's only up 49, 40 to 41 with independents. This is would, not John would, McCain. Well, does the polling suggest that she would do better with average voters, independent voters, in terms of beating Joe Biden? Probably. You know, I think there's a chance. That's why so well, many Democrats are supporting The her. Biden camp and the Grand and White House are desperate yeah. to have Donald Trump. I think a lot of people are now saying they'd be careful what they wish for because that they, they may... The plan might backfire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think, I've got to be honest, I think Donald Trump's going to get the nomination. I think even if he gets convicted, I think it's still very likely he could